Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I play a custom sound for local notifications in the background on iOS 10? Here's a quick overview of the problem. Since UI local notification is deprecated in iOS 10, our viewer has updated their notification flow using the UN user notification framework. While custom sounds work perfectly in the foreground, they default to the standard notification sound when the app is in the background. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Let's get In iOS 10, the UI local notification has been deprecated and we now use the UN user notification framework. Let's start by understanding how to set up a local notification with a custom sound. To create a local notification, we first need to set up the notification content. Here's how you can do that. We create an instance of UN mutable notification content. Next, we set the title and body of the notification. If you want to use a custom sound, you need to specify the sound file name. If the audio URL is nil, the default sound will be used. Now we create a trigger for the notification. In this case, we use a time interval trigger that fires after 60 seconds. Finally, we add the notification request to the notification center. However, remember that custom sounds will only play when the app is in the foreground. In the background, iOS will use the default notification sound this is a limitation in iOS 10 compared to iOS 9. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To use a custom sound for push notifications in iOS 10, you need to include the sound file in your app and in the notification package. Here's an example of creating a notification package in PHP. Notice the sound object in the notification array. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create a notification with a custom sound in iOS 10, use the User Notifications Framework. If you have a UN Notification Content Object named Notification and a custom sound file named 8MP4, simply set the sound property like this. There's no need to use did receive local notification for this. Just set the sound directly in your notification content. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To use custom sounds for notifications in iOS 10 while in background mode, there are a few important points to consider. First, the sound file should be no longer than 30 seconds. Second, 
the sound file must be included in the app's bundle. If it's stored elsewhere, the notification won't access it when the app is in the background. Third, there are specific restrictions on the sound format, so it's essential to check Apple's guidelines. Lastly, you cannot change or overwrite files in the app bundle programmatically, which limits your ability to modify sound files when the app is not active. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To set up custom notifications in iOS 10, we create two notifications. The first one is scheduled for 8 a.m., inviting users to start their day with meditation or relaxing sounds. The second notification is at 8 p.m., encouraging users to unwind before sleep. Both notifications use a custom sound. We define the content for each notification, including titles and custom sounds. Then, we set triggers based on specific times and add the requests to the Notification Center. Finally, we set the Notification Center's delegate and add both notification requests to ensure they are delivered at the specified times. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.